This building on Farm Road is home to more than University Health Services. In the basement, you'll find Oklahoma State University's Emergency Operations Center, a facility the school is thankful to have, but hopes not to need. We have our own space that is fully isolated if needed, it can be completely secure. We also have our own ventilation system generator. We have the ability to, to operate for extended periods of time if needed um, without really much assistance from the outside. You never know. Uh, earthquakes, where we've been having them, this spot would uh, be activated. Uh, like you said, tornadoes, even flooding, or network outages. And we have been through all those. Even, uh, I'd hate to say, like bomb threats, pursuits. We can all get down here and, and uh, put all our heads together without having to try to make the phone calls to get everybody in at once. The EOC opened in response to the Virginia Tech shooting of 2007. I think that the Emergency Operations Center is kind of a hidden gem because we are able and we are confident that we can help manage respond and recover to any event that we might have. In the case of an emergency, an 11 member group made up of key individuals from different departments around campus are brought to the EOC. However, OSU Police Dispatch works in the EOC 24-7. This emergency operations center should be ready to go and not be activated when an emergency happens. So moving dispatch down here just made more sense. Kind of make this place a warm spot as you might call it. The center table has a seat for all members with laptops and phones ready to use. There's also a tactical communications center for dispatchers. An event that we had in 2019, our dispatchers took 90 emergency phone calls in 45 minutes. So they were completely tied up in phone calls. We had an individual that was a dispatcher that was sitting at that station that was able to share all that information with those from the emergency op operation group that did respond uh, down here so that they could have the latest information and make the best decisions possible for that time. Multiple screens and computers are used for webcasting, so all information is available to everyone. The facility is not only used when an emergency hits, but also when there is a significant increase in population on campus. We do also have what's called limited activations, and it is on a limited activation numerous times throughout the year. Every football game, we uh, grow in population as a, as a community. We have to be able be ready and able to handle whatever events may come. Emergency plans are constantly being made and updated by the Emergency Operations Department. With 25,000 people within 240,000 square feet, safety is a priority. It's good when it's quiet, <laughs> but it's also nice to know that if we have it, if we need it, we have it. For State Magazine, I'm Maggie Burke.